Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. Can't put yourself in it. You put yourself in it, you put works in it. You put works in it, you put yourself in it. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish but have eternal life. How do we believe? You admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. There's only one and that's Jesus Christ. You put your faith and trust in him, you Accept him as Savior. When you do that, you're saved. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend, period. That's the gospel. This thing is um, getting worse. They're talking invasion probably very soon, any day. Russia is preparing to launch attack before the Olympics end. Foreigners urged to flee Ukraine, and oil spikes to $95. The U.S. and its allies have new intelligence that suggests Russia could launch an attack on Ukraine even before the end of the Olympics. Multiple sources familiar with the matter uh, tell CNN. Previous uh, assessments have suggested it's all over the news right now. Fox has picked it up. The Washington Times, the New York Post is picking this up. Um, previous assessments have suggested that Russia was unlikely to move into Ukraine until after <coughs> the Olympics end on February 20th. U.S. officials uh, had uh, told CNN in the past, the revelation of the new intelligence comes as administration officials have dramatically ramped up the urgency of their public warnings related to Ukraine in the past 24 hours. Now, I just got something also from 24-hour war news. This is, uh, again, it's from Athens, Greece. So when you get it, when I link it into the description box, you have to translate it to English. But they're the most accurate right now. It says, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Stinkin' Blinken said Friday that a Russian invasion of Ukraine could begin at any time, including during the Beijing Winter Olympics. And the United States continued to see very troubling signs of Russian escalation, including new forces arriving at the Ukrainian border. Uh, Kiev is among the targets. Here's I, what I found. Kiev is among the targets. Um, sorry about that. That was Siri. Is among the targets um, identified in the Russian planning. Three sources familiar with the new intelligence. Um, a host of countries have urged the nationals to leave Ukraine now, amid growing warnings of a Russian invasion. The British Foreign Office said all UK nationals should leave now, while commercial, uh, while commercial means are still available. So in other words, while flights are still available. NATO leaders have held a meeting after which Secretary General Hans Stoltenberg uh, said the bloc stood united and prepared for any scenario. Now, I just gave you an article this morning. He, Putin, had said that if NATO continues to help Ukraine, they will go nuclear. This is coming down the wire. So it says Russia has repeatedly denied any plans to invade Ukraine despite massing more than 100,000 troops near the border. 
Meanwhile, oil prices have jumped in afternoon trading this afternoon. The, the stock market tanked. Trading Friday at, amid escalating tensions between Ukraine and Russia. With about two hours left to the trading day, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said at a White House briefing that there were signs of Russian escalation at the Ukraine border and that it was possible that an invasion could take place during the Olympics, despite speculation to the contrary. Uh, it says, we continue to see signs of Russian escalation, including new forces arriving at the Ukrainian border. As we've said before, uh, we are in the window when an invasion could begin at any time. But it may very, it may well happen soon, he said. It's going to happen. I mean, it's imminent. It's, it's definitely going to happen. And you just have to watch and see. It's, but it's imminent, just like the rapture. So this is unfolding right now. This has a lot to do with Bible prophecy. I would suggest you go to Ezekiel, um, probably Isaiah, um, Joel, and look and see the correlation between all of this that's happening right now. Um, this could go off with, I'm thinking probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. It's my guess. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm seeing right here. Um, the oil prices have jumped off the chain, which means gas prices are going to go through the roof again because of all of this. Now, I got to give you this article that I just got from... Um, Yeah, this is from um, War News 27. Now, again, you're going to have to translate this. I'm going to link this article. And some people have written me and said that they were able to translate it. It should give you an option to translate to English. But it says, Ukraine calls for 2 million citizens in arms. Biden SLA speech. Moscow ballistic warehouses are empty. According to last minute information, the National Security Council for Ukraine decided, excuse me, at an extraordinary meeting held in uh, Kharkov to increase the strength of the territorial defense units to 2 million. We're talking about a frightening increase that can happen only sorry about that that can happen for reasons of armed conflict be careful that was my son Cody he just left so It says, to mention that the territorial defense units are almost the last solution of emergency, something like militias, Ukraine has so far been able to mobilize 25 ground defense brigades, one per region. Each brigade consists of 150 battalions. In peacetime, 10,000 men can be mobilized, while in wartime, 130,000 men. Now the number has skyrocketed to 2 million citizens. We are now talking about a process of mobilization and popular defense as we had predicted a long time ago. So this is going on to say, from the war room to the White House to President, um, he's not a president, Biden informed more than 20 leaders of NATO countries about the Russia decision to invade Ukraine. Shortly afterwards, the United States National Security Advisor T. Sullivan um, urged all U.S. citizens to leave Ukraine right now, within 24 to 48 hours. So I'm thinking, and they know this is going to go down within probably 24 to 48 hours. It says here, Russia 
now has enough forces to carry out a major military operation against Ukraine, and the attack could begin at any time. And this is from a White House official. Speaking to the White House without ex uh, elaborating, Sullivan said, any America, any American still in Ukraine should leave now within 24 to 48 hours. And this just came out four hours ago. Bombings can kill civilians regardless of nationality. Um, Council to NATO, the ambassadors of NATO member states are convening an emergency meeting right now and tonight uh, to discuss Russia's military and strategic planning. Uh, the Pentagon Chief General uh, Miley, or Mini, me, spoke with his Russian counterpart, General, um, his, um, his general, and briefed his counterparts in Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Romania, Britain, and the NATO Military Commission. At the same time, the Biden government decided to send an additional 3,000 U.S. troops from the 82nd Airborne Brigade to Poland. Um, yeah, I have, I'm going to link this article in the description box. I will keep you informed. I'm watching this intently right now. So I will keep you informed as to what's going on. But in the meantime, I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.